Well, then we're going to go purple. Depends on the type of plum. Oh. Anyway, welcome back. Having a random conversation about what we can see out the window. Um, it's been a while since the last vlog, video, whatever you want to call it. Um, but really, nothing much worthy of filming has happened, I don't think, has it? So, we haven't filmed anything. But we thought we'd come back with an update as to what has been happening um, since the last, what was the last video? You said something about the chairs. Oh yeah, the last video was Liz painting chairs. Now that got published, I think, three weeks ago-ish. I don't know. Well, it's about that. Yeah. So at that point, I think, I can't remember what was happening at that point, I can't remember that. These videos are all a bit sort of spread out. There's a video we put up, we went for a day trip down to Stranra to look at a house. Um, and if I remember, I'll put the link to that up here. We put an offering on that house. Yeah, we put an offering on that house verbally, and then they told us, yep, yeah, it'll be accepted. Um, put a formal offer in through a solicitor. Put the offer in. And this was on the Thursday we got told that. No, so we, we put the formal offer in. This is like midday. Put the formal offer in at three o'clock, thinking next morning we'd hear something. The next morning I went out to the storage unit, or to a storage unit to see it, to see about getting space bought, reserved, whatever, I get a phone call from their estate agent saying they've taken the house off the market and therefore hadn't accepted our offer. And obviously this was a bit of a disappointment I think for everybody because mm. we'd kind of fallen in love with the place, haven't we? So it was a case of onwards and upwards, let's go and see if we can find somewhere else, which did prove difficult because I think you must have looked at thousands of houses. Yeah. Um, Certainly hundreds. Yeah, we're not just talking locally to us. We're talking like nationwide, like UK-wide. Um, so that that was a, a downer. Two weeks passed. And I actually said to you, didn't I? I said the irony would be if they came back and said, actually, we've changed our mind. Mm. Do you still want to buy it? And no word of a lie, two weeks later, you got a message, didn't you? Yeah. A text message straight from them. Yeah, directly from the seller. Um, what do they say? They just asked if they were still interested um, because they had found a place and so they wanted their assault. So the, the reason why they did actually take the house off the market to start with was they sort of panicked where they didn't have anywhere to go to and thought they were going to become homeless. I'm sure we've said this in a video before. Yeah, I can't remember if we did or not. <clears throat> but anyway. We were sort of, okay, well, the offer still stands. We spoke to the solicitor and he said, yeah, it just needs to be resubmitted or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the terminology is. No, it didn't need to be resubmitted. They just need to accept it. Okay. So that all got done and we didn't hear anything for like three or four days. And we thought, great, this is all happening. And then we get another message from the solicitor this time, wasn't it? Mm, our solicitor. Our solicitor. Saying that, yeah, again, they take the house off the market. No reason given. Um, so, to cut a long story short, we were like, Foxtrot this, we're not going up for this anymore, even if they did come back and say whatever. So that house got written off, as in, off our radar. Um, Again, this this was like an emotional roller coaster for predominantly me and Liz because the kids would try to keep them out of it in the sense of keeping them away from that stress. Uh, but you knew about it, you knew what was going on. And then you kept on looking, didn't you? Yep. And we widened the search even further. And I don't know how you found this one. Where did you see this one? Just, just popped up in the search? Yeah. It? And it's really funny because we weren't planning on looking at anything like this one were we no because we said that we didn't want a new house which this isn't but it's yeah it's not, it's a, this isn't a new build or anything like that but it's newish it's the same age as daisy so this is 
a property down about an hour south of us just now. Coylton. A place called Coylton, um, east of Air, Air, Air in Ayrshire. South Ayrshire, actually. Easy for me to say. It's one of the Ayrshires, anyway. Yeah. Um, it's a four bedroom house. Um, it's a nice house. I don't say too much about it because we're hoping to be able to show you once we do actually get to move in and um, what it's like. Um, but at the moment... Not what we expected. I it's not what, it's we expected. not what we expected. I, I, nev I never envisaged me or us living in this style of house. Um, as they said, it's only 14 years old, but it's possibly what some people might call elegant. But I don't know if that's just how the previous owners have decorated it or furnished it or... Stop or telling them too much stuff. But it's going to be more or less everything that we want. Um, kids are going to get a bedroom each. There's a nice bit of garden. There's a big double garage for me and my toys. Um, there's a bit of woodland at the back of the house, isn't there? Mm -hmm. It's not ours, but it's no, right, there's it's no reason. The, 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 yeah, it's all part of it's part of, it's like part of communal areas. Yeah. Um, so it'd be an area for the kids to explore and playing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, at the moment we're waiting to hear something formal from them with regards to a date, aren't we? Yeah, they were going to go and see a house, weren't they? They were going to, because they were talking about renting. Yeah, so we've, we've spoken to the sellers out with the estate agent. Um, and we're actually, this, this is, what day is it today? Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday today, next Monday, we're actually going to go down there to see both the schools. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we're not laughing at you. The guinea pigs are going up and down like crazy things. <laughs> All right. As I was saying, on Monday, we're going to go down to the, the area to see the primary school and the secondary school. And having spoken to the sellers, we're actually going to go back to the house and have another look at the house and the kids are going to get to see it because they didn't get to see it the first time. Uh, means we can measure up for furniture. And one thing I need to measure up for is insulation in the garage because I need to do all that before I can move everything in. I want to know whether our bed's going to fit in there because yeah. if it's not, we need, we need to, to look see at another bed. getting another bed. Yeah. Um, we've currently got a king, super no, king size. Super king size, so it's six foot wide. We think we need to measure it actually yeah. to get the exact measurements, don't we? Um, so it's a fairly big bed. I, I don't I think it will be a problem fitting. No, it's whether we'll get anything else in the room. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that is the state of play just now with that house. I'm trying to run everything through my head. We're waiting for a, a date, a, a proposed moving date from them. <clears throat> yeah. We want to be in before Christmas, don't mind you. Yeah, it's currently October, early October. We want to be in before Christmas. They're, they're moving into a rented place because they're moving south. So they sound like they're going to be pretty flexible. Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. Um, so we can get this one up. Yeah, so the other part of moving house, which I'm sure 99% of people watching this have done already, but if you haven't, if, you, if you've got a house and you sell it, and we're now trying to sell this house. We've had four, three viewings three so Three viewings, we've got another one booked to Thursday, but we could get more. Right? Yeah, so three viewings. The house has been on the market since Friday, so it's been on the market four days. Mm -hmm. And we've had three viewings so far. Um, one couple have apparently come back and said thanks but no thanks to the agent. The other couple haven't contacted the agent or the agent hasn't contacted them. And the couple today seemed quite positive. Yeah. I certainly got a good feeling from it. Yeah, but we haven't heard them back. No, we haven't so heard them back yet. But we don't, we don't expect to hear anything like instantly. Unless somebody says, look, there's a briefcase full of cash. <laughs> we want your house. I think nice, it'd, it'd, it'd be nice. <laughs> it'd be nice, but if that's the case, I'll be like going straight to the police saying, "Where'd you get that money from?" Um, and then once all that's done, oh, well, once we've got a buyer for here, we just need to organise the dates and yep. move. And on top of all that, I'm just about at my wits' end with moving stuff out of the garage and out of the loft into storage. How many runs have I done now? I don't know. Eight. I don't know. I've lost count. I've lost count. Of 
everything. <laughs> I've, I've done far too many van fulls of stuff to the storage unit. Because he's got far too much stuff. <laughs> um, the garage door isn't empty. No, it's no, not. No, it's not even nearly empty. <laughs> That's the worrying part. It is. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot emptier than what it was. I just don't understand how it all back and thin. So you yeah. guys, you filled up a whole storage place. But in fairness, some of it was from the loft. A lot of it was out the loft. Most of it was. Most of the big stuff was out the loft. Yeah, we need to. I think you need to get some boxes out to the garage or whatever, and just all the bits now. Bits yeah. Pieces. Um. But once all that's done, there's not really much else to do. No, from a storage point of view, mm. the reason for the storage is I'm putting something there that I don't want the removal companies potentially breaking. Um, and so if he goes off to work, then I can just get on with things, hopefully. Yeah. In theory. So but, yeah, it's just, okay. in, it's just in case Nick goes off to work, then he can just abandon me to do the house. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah. Hopefully we'll leave the SD card here for the camera. Do you know what, in some, in some ways I want that to happen, but in many ways I don't. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> nice, nice relaxing break for you, you come back and everything's done. Yeah. That'd oh, be I'll, great. I will be here for my drink. Mm. Um, which is why I want a date more than anything, so I, I, know. Know, I can plan things around it. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd just come back and update you with what's been going on or not going on. Um, emotional roller coaster. Yeah. I think so. I'm, I'm, just like, I'm knackered. So we're, just we're both knackered, aren't we? Knackered. I'm walking into that garage just now and looking at the stuff and I'm like, I can't be bothered, but I know I've got to. I don't even know what I'm doing next, to be honest. Um, I think we've got to do the boxes in the girls' room and we go back through the ones that are in the cupboard. Yeah, because cause what we're doing as I'm emptying the garage, <laughs> like the far end of the garage, <laughs> we have oh, every, everything that is like finally packed into removal boxes is getting stored at that end of the garage. Um, just so that we can sort out the house and have stuff packed away, but not have, I'm sure. yeah, not on show, so that people coming in to look at the house won't think they're already packing up. Um, so if we can sort through stuff and box it and put it out, out there, out of the way, it's not so much of a problem. It's not as obvious as I mean, people are still going out to see the garage; they will really still see it. Yeah, but maybe not just quite as much, and we can just. Yeah. Everybody's been out there and said, oh, it's storage. Yeah. So, that's not the end of the world. No. But it means we're getting there with being ready to yeah. move. And it's decluttering some of the house as well, isn't it? <laughs> how many t again, dump runs. I don't know how many times we've been to that dump. We're on first name terms with them now. I, I tell you, I've been a lot more than you have. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about anybody watching this. Um, but where we are here in Scotland at the moment, um, we've got to prove residency, no, for the local area to use the particular dump. Yeah, they've stopped even asking. Um, they just see the car and just wave us in. They don't even stop and ask <laughs> for ID or proof. Where we're go what we're going, what we're dumping, it's always just general crap from the house. Yeah, well, this morning the guy said, I said, he said, another load, and I was like, yeah, what you got? And he said, don't have it, general crap. And I said, yep, yeah. <laughs> straight in. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, we are we are on first name terms with the local council dump staff. Um, well, most of them anyway. I think oh, this, this just so demonstrates tired. we're filming this at four o'clock in the afternoon, and you're just about ready for bed, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but I'm not doing anything else to do. Like, yeah, you know, I've got to do a few more. Again tomorrow. I've got to do a few more bits out in the garage just to finish off where I am. Um, I've actually got two model projects that I need to actually finish before they get packed away. Um, so I'll just try and get them finished. But then it's just almost treading water yeah. till we can actually know this house is sold and we can pack up. Yeah. That's that's the and bit that we've got a date for the other place. Yeah, that's the bit that I'm I'm wanting. Mm. But yeah, so. um I think the other thing you need to do is you need to put a link to our house so that if anybody's interested they can Look at it, share it, whatever, if anybody wants to buy it. Great. Yeah, I'll have to put that. Link will be in the description somewhere. Um, yeah, that's about it just now, isn't it? It's so tired. It's not a very exciting video, um, but it's just an update as to what's happening. 
Um, as we said before, we're using this new ish channel as more like a, a, a diary for us to look back on in years to come as to what we did when. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm sure, no, once we do move in the new house, there'll be new things for us to film and little yeah, I'm projects not sure to do. Yeah, sure it'll be straight about it, but there will be bits and pieces just kind of making the house our own, won't it? Yeah. So I'm going to be it's not a huge amount to do because then, let's say it's just quite neutral decor, isn't there? So it's, yeah. there's not going to be a huge amount to do, but we'll just put our own touch on it. Like getting rid of carpets and bathrooms. Shh. So I suspect one of the first things we'll be doing with regards to vlogs for the new house, the first one probably will be like moving date if we can actually film it. It yeah. might be like snippets because I suspect it's going to be manic. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> um, I don't know if we've got enough cameras to put them everywhere where we need them to film oh, stuff. No. Because you think one of us is going to have to drop keys off here oh, once we're no. out here. Somebody's going to have to go and collect keys from down there so we can get in down there. Yeah. So we're going to be like two places at once. I'll be your cameraman. Oh, oh. People. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's going to be busy. But if we can't get anything done for the actual moving day. <sighs> I suspect then the first video will be like a grand tour yeah. of the place yeah. as it is as soon as we can after moving in. It might be a couple of days later um, once we've actually got our breath back. Boxes unboxed. We won't get them unboxed that quickly. Might have a couple unboxed within a day or two because we need to get eat the, and get have clothes. And... Yeah. But yeah, that's, um, that's what we're doing. Isn't it? You're, you're kind of happy now about moving. <laughs> Daisy, before, I don't know if you mentioned, but it was Daisy that was... Not like, sure. I'm going to choose my words correctly here. And I think that is the best words. Not sure about moving. But you're looking forward to it, aren't you, mate? But it's, it's another child now that's decided that he doesn't really <laughs> want to move. <coughs> but that's because of his girlfriend. He's a girlfriend. <laughs> you think that? No, I know he hasn't. At least that's what he tells me anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay, the girly fancies. Yeah. So, but again, I think, want to leave her behind. I think all three of them now are, are happier about moving. Yeah, yeah I think so. better than the other one. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. Why, why does this one seem better without giving the game away? It's a normal house. As opposed to... A wonky garden and half new, half old. <laughs> a wonky garden? Yeah, the garden's everywhere. Like, you have to go past, like, a hot tub. Uh, yeah, we don't have a hot tub. You have to go past the hot tub. Um, a, um, what do you call it? A stable that would fit some Shetland ponies. <laughs> but to be honest, it's irrespective, because we're not buying that house anymore, are we? No. But that's why I shouldn't like it, I think, was the point. Okay, so... Yeah, disappointed a little bit that this one doesn't have a hot tub. But I think it's got only everything it. else, so not too disappointed. Uh, it's it's got everything else, or can have everything else. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's taking anything away. It's not like we have a hot tub now. No. So no, 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 no. And the garden, we came to the realization that it's looking after a big garden. I decided. <laughs> <laughs> no, you decided. We came to the realization. Yeah, right. <laughs> you convinced. No, I, I, I wanted the big garden for various reasons, but realised I said didn't I yeah. that realistically when you're not here it doesn't get looked after properly the size that we've got just now yeah so we don't really want anything bigger or, or not I mean a little bit bigger would be okay if it was manageable things in it yeah I don't know how else to word that but the garden in the new house it's it is a, a manageable size I think it is a bit bigger than this it's certainly different to this it's a different shape it's, it is different to yeah. this um, there's more front garden. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. That's the update. Um, if you have, if you are watching this by any chance and you're not subscribed, please do. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like it, and comment below whatever you want to comment on. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I say that, but there's loads of I, I do it differently on my other YouTube channel, but vloggers asked for comments and whatnot, but I don't know what on. 
You know, I don't know what well, people would comment on this. Maybe they would just comment and say, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they'll comment and say, oh, can you can you do a vlog on this next? You know, if, yeah, so if they, saw, they obviously they saw us doing like painting chairs and painting kitchens and whatever else. Smoking meat. Was that on this channel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, they've seen us doing various things. Maybe they'll say, oh, next time, can you do, I don't know, painting a shed or... Well, that's one thing, you said that, that's one thing which, uh, just think about it, just think of it. That's one thing which I, are going to tell you to that. <laughs> that's one thing I could do, is that I know in the new house, I'm going to have to build a shed. I've already built the shed that's like behind you right now outside. And I don't know what channel, where did I put those videos? I have no idea. What channel? Uh, what videos? Probably on your model yeah. one, because this one wasn't around when you built that, so. So I could do a... A video or how many videos to build a shed which might be exciting it might well be boring um, but I know that's one of the projects we are going to have to do yeah yeah there's going to be there's going to be little bits and pieces I don't think yeah. there's going to be this house isn't as big a project as where Jalak was going to be no no but there'll be bits and pieces here and there to make it our own yeah and it's I said so this whole channel is about life with us hence the name and it's what we're doing so it's not just a case of how to's or anything like that no. but it's like oh today we're doing x y z okay well let's have the camera rolling and film it no i just thought i saw something there oh. i should have put the camera there because that's where i'm looking all the time <laughs> not up there never mind i'm looking at pickies yeah I do, but, but anyway <laughs> that's probably enough ramblings from us just now <laughs> you're probably bored silly and probably not even watching this part but until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.